Robert Edwards, step up, please. I see that you write poetry, songs, and short stories. That's wonderful. Yes. And one of these days, we'd like to see it in the form of some book or some article. Mm -hmm. Is that something you'd like to see? Yes. That's great. Here's your question. Obviously, you have an imagination. We'll test it now. What do you think is the most important discovery of the last century, and why? I think the most important discovery of the last century would be the internet. We can do so much more than we could 100 years ago. We can go on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, socialize with friends over the internet, and even state our own opinions. So that's why I think it would be the end. As I looked in my friend's dead eyes, the feeling of devastation rushed through me. Too numb to cry, I rushed home and went back to sleep, hoping that this was all a dream. The next day, I awoke to what seemed like a nightmare. My friend hung herself. Yesterday, we were laughing about Jersey Shore, and everything was fine. In middle school, I became good friends with a new student. My school was predominantly African American. She was Caucasian. She was discriminated against from the first day that she walked into our classroom. Names like cracker, slut, and white trash filled the room with laughter as she sat down. I was the only one who was not laughing. We both enjoyed reading poetry, writing songs, and art. Since we had so much in common, we became close friends. I walked her home every day to try and protect her from bullies. One day, I was sick and had to be absent from school. Her parents called me and told me that she had been brutally attacked by more than 10 students. I rushed over to the hospital to visit her. They broke both her legs and fractured her ribs. It took almost a year for her to recover. Through it all, I was there for her. Her life was getting better. At least, that's what I thought. She wrote me a note in science class that read, things in your life and everyone else's will be awesome tonight. Come to my house around 7 PM. I didn't think much of the note. I was trying to focus on my science work. I walked to her house and arrived there at around 7 o'clock. The front door was open, and I heard screaming. I rushed into her house and up, up the stairs to her room. I couldn't believe what I saw. My friend hanging from a ceiling with a thick rope tied around her neck. Her parents' cries filled the room as my heart shattered into pieces. My friend was gone. Why? One word, bullying. She left a suicide letter saying how grateful she was to have me as a friend and that she couldn't endure the bullying any longer. I was depressed for what seemed like an eternity. In my freshman year of high school, I joined an online group, The Experience Project. Through this website, I can share my personal experiences and prevent suicides among other teens. I've also joined many online teen sites that deal with issues in society like bullying, rape, and suicide. A few of my poems have even been published in a book, Poetic Power. I do not feel that society is taking bullying as serious as it should be. Teens are taking lives every day because of bullying. School shootings are usually committed by victims of bullying, and suicide is at a higher rate than it's ever been among the youth. How much louder can teens scream this message? Thank you. You know, Robert, what you just stated to us today is on the road to hopefully reducing the incidence of suicide. And I thank you very much for your comments.